Well, the museum exists to preserve the history of the sea fishing industry around Scotland. So we start um, in the era of log, log boats and coracles, and we take it right through the eras of sail and steam to the, to the present day. I think what we need to do now is, is upgrade um, some of the galleries and the facilities here. Um, but I think it's important that people see the work going on on the boats and we explain why we're doing it and what we're doing. So the boat building element, it will always be important to us uh, making an interesting visitor experience. We've always had a very keen team of volunteers who've helped to restore our, particularly our seagoing boats. Um, but we realise that we do need to do work on boats within the collection. And to make the project sustainable, we're, we're now looking to perhaps do some outside work to, to supplement and keep the project going. The traditional skills about boat, boat building and uh, traditional uh, uh, techniques about uh, how to work and restore uh, wooden boats are disappearing. Uh, so this is the right moment to transfer the skills uh, before people uh, who, is able, who are able to carry out important works uh, retire. And um, yeah, this is the aim of uh, the museum and of our uh, um, work in Boatyard. We have a, um, a couple of a couple of trainees. Uh, they are um, uh, doing a boat building course, uh, which started uh, in late summer last year and uh, uh, will last until uh, early summer of this year. They are working in our boatyard for uh, a couple of uh, days per week. Uh, side by side uh, with the volunteers and myself. We've just started this, uh, this trainees. My ideal is to have a proper apprentice who does a four years course. They'll be fully qualified when, they, when they're finished. We are working on White Wing, uh, which is one of uh, our uh, two sailing vessels. We have done uh, a major uh, restoration because uh, uh, the most of uh, um, the internal structures uh, were still sound, but uh, uh, many planks and uh, the whole deck, uh, so the planks of the deck and uh, also the structures of the deck has been replaced. Uh, we are doing uh, all uh, brand new paint works uh, and the coating as well. Funding is always an issue because we are an independent trust and a charity. Um, we, we're very grateful for the support we get from the uh, Scottish Government and Fife Council, but that only covers a, a, a small percentage of our running costs and we have to generate a lot of funding ourselves from shop and admissions and tea room and donations and trust membership. So it's always a bit of a struggle to, to break even. Um, and with some of the ambitious plans that we have, we, there's a lot more that we can do. We hope to have um, things like a national memorial to fishermen. So fundraising for these projects is always an important element of our work.